Today, people across the world are spreading awareness for World Suicide Prevention Day. Well, right here in Colorado, parents are warning each other about a new game targeting people with suicidal tendencies. And Denver 7's Connor West joins us to explain what this disturbing Momo challenge is? Yes, it is a very strange name, but it is very disturbing and it's mm -hmm. important to talk about. So this challenge involves people taking commands from unknown numbers in social media accounts for 50 days. And the part that's extremely concerning is the dangerous tasks that the so-called Momo character is asking players to perform. The Momo challenge passes itself off as a game, but it is certainly not that. It's creating a situation where they're contemplating very dangerous situations for themselves. Here's the first clue for parents to be concerned with. The image of this Japanese statue of a woman with bulging eyes and scary features. Here's how this dangerous challenge goes. Users start communicating with Momo on Facebook or WhatsApp, a free messaging service. They're given a series of tasks to finally meet the Momo and those tasks start off small but then escalate quickly to violent acts with photos for proof. The Momo intimidates and threatens those who don't follow its instructions. And the final challenge can be anywhere from harming to killing yourself. Local schools, including American Academy and Parker, recently sent out emails to parents warning them of the challenges they are most concerned about, Momo being one of them. There's something new every day that we have to watch for and make sure everybody understands the repercussions behind most of these challenges. Law enforcement agencies have put out warnings about the Momo challenge. The game is reportedly being played in the United States and around the world. The challenge first came to light after being linked to the suicide of a 12 year old girl in Argentina. She left behind a video on her phone of the tasks she took before her death. There haven't been any reported deaths from the Momo challenge in the US so far. Technology experts say this is an opportunity for parents to remind their kids not to trust unknown numbers and to not click on unidentified links. Expert also encourage you to change email and social media passwords very frequently and block unknown numbers inviting you to play right away. In studio, I'm Connor West, Denver 7.